what this is going to do let's save it and let's refresh our page and this is going to add this home menu item here and you can see it's uh, selected or it's active right now right because um, it's uh, giving the effect that this home item is clicked right so when we uh, leave this list item as empty class and just refresh the page it will not be selected okay so this active uh, we add to show that this item is active right now okay now in the same way you can add some more list item for example about and this time i haven't added any uh you know let's leave it as default like this and i haven't added any class uh, active here right so once i refresh the page i can see this is active and this is not active right and so now we uh, want to add a drop down menu for example in our navigation bar how we can do this so there is a uh, first of all uh, list item so we will add a list item here and we will end this list item with this closing tag and we have included this class called drop down okay and this will add a drop down uh, menu item to your uh, uh, nav bar right now first of all uh, we will add this uh, item here like about so i will just copy this and i will explain you everything one by one so for now let's uh, remove this thing okay and this thing okay so what i am doing here i am creating a h ref here and uh, what it's doing you can provide any uh, reference or, or website url uh, here so for example when i click this uh, toggle menu it will go to the web page related to this learn uh, menu item right and we are importing this class called drop down toggle so when somebody clicks this uh, learn button this toggle or all the items in this uh, menus should toggle or should collapse or if they are collapsed already they should uh, you know contract back or something like this uh, we will see what it's doing in a bit let's save it and let's refresh it and we have learn but right now it's uh, like same as these other menu item home and about uh, nothing uh, we can see which says that it's a drop down menu and for uh, you know uh, making it look like a drop down uh, we add this class called carrot okay so let's add a class which will be bold after this learn so just add this and which is with the bold item for example okay so add this class called carrot and refresh this page i will add this small triangle here and now uh, user will see and yeah he will come to know that it's a drop down menu so he can uh, once this clicked this class is called called uh, drop down toggle and it will toggle your drop down menu okay now uh, inside the drop down menu we have to add some menu items right so to add a menu item uh, it's the same procedure like uh, these right uh, unordered list and inside unordered list some list items so this time we will uh, add this unordered list like this just below 
your reference and I will just close it ul with uh, backslash and uh, inside this unordered list uh, first of all I am using this class called drop down menu which indicates that it's a drop down menu and then in the list item first of all we can add a list item uh, first of all we can have some header list item so we can add li and we call a class called drop down header okay so drop down minus header okay and this shows that it's a drop down header for your menu item right and uh, for this you can add any name for example examples and just close your list item like this and then we have some normal menu item inside your menu right so we can add some menu items like this list items and these are normal list item these are not headers or something so whenever somebody clicks the c++ it will go to the c++ page for example programming knowledge dot org slash cpp or slash java so let's save it and let's see what happens refresh the page and i can see this uh, first of all header which is example and then sub menu item you can say so c++ and java right let's add in the same way one more header so just copy all these three things and paste it like this and this time for example i say tutorials okay save it and refresh the page and i can see two headers drop down headers example and tutorial and then some sub menu item c plus plus java and c plus plus and java for example and when i collapse this i can see this button and when i click this button i can see menu items once again i can see the drop down menu here and it will work like this okay so in this way you can add a navigation bar or nav bar to your bootstrap page i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now